welcome to a new vlog. Yes, you've got me in a mask again. And just as a disclaimer, it is the 3rd of November today. So I am literally just popping, um, oh, I'm going to work. Um, but then I'm gonna go to John Lewis and show you all the decorations and a little bit of Oxford Street. Now, I'm hoping that the Christmas lights will be showing because it will be dark by the time that I am showing you the wonderful decorations. Um, appreciate that the stores are not gonna be open when I upload this, but it'll hopefully get you into a Christmassy mood. It's definitely weird not seeing any Christmas adverts on the underground very bizarre I was actually going to get the bus to Oxford Street um, but I actually found the last few days when I've been going to Oxford Street um, the buses have been so busy like literally everyone sat next to each other so I'm getting the tube because it only takes a few minutes Everyone, everyone is working from home if they can, they really are. On we go. Literally, on my own. So as I said, the time of filming this, it's the 3rd of November. I always go to John Lewis every year to look at the decorations, to get like an idea of what I want to do, and definitely for Christmas presents. I'm literally shouting, can you hear me? <laughs> and this time last year, I also went to Oxford Street, and it was the first time I did Vlogmas and filmed anything Christmassy. Um, and yeah, it was a really good time to go. So with short shops closing tomorrow, worst case, well yeah, they're all closing tomorrow, it's case Tuesday. Um, and if some stuff is closing today, um, if you were seeing my Primark video, I think I mentioned that. My expectations are that it is pretty busy um, shopping this afternoon. A couple of my friends have already said how they were looking to do like late night shopping on Tuesday and Wednesday. So um, by the time I get to the store and it'll be after work, it probably will be busy. So this is the Bakerloo line, the brown line, um, but yeah, it's, I think it's the oldest um, tube line, I probably should know that, but I think it is the oldest tube line on the underground. You can see there are some, instead of adverts, things to repeat and remind social distancing and face coverings, there's also like these stickers everywhere, and let me just show you, oh, trying to do it, I've not touched anything. I try to go on the tube without touching anything these days. Um, and then there's like reminders everywhere to wear your mask. But yeah, no seats are like covered off. But I'm quite fortunate here, there's no one here. And I need to not touch anything. Ah! Not touch anything. I'm getting pretty good at not holding on to anything on the tube. So yeah, my balance is getting better. Oh, where are we? Uh, Edgeway Road. And then I use my elbows to like hold on on the escalator and I don't touch anything. And it's funny because you see people get on and everyone is like just kind of using their elbows against the walls because we don't want to touch anything. So it's quite good. And I've got my sanitizer with us, so all good. Right, I will say bye and I will see you literally in a few hours, which will seem like nothing um, at John Lewis over to me <laughs> and just like that we are in john lewis i'm in the oxford street one which is literally my second home i swear but yeah they've had the christmas decorations up for a little while but i'm liking the kind of purple and green theme very nice and they have got the windows outside so we'll have a look at that after but we are going to head up to the christmas shop obviously and there's a lot of signs for like social distancing and they also had a guy at the bottom of the escalator literally telling people off who were going too near each other so you know a bit of tough love oh doesn't it look so pretty it makes my legs go a bit wibbly so i'm kind of holding on with my wrist here oh gosh that makes my legs go wibbly right what floor number two Oh wait, no, it's on floor three. I came here the other day and it looked very gorgeous, so I thought I would take you with me. Oh yeah, Christmas shop, floor three. Ooh, yes. Here we go, there's definitely more decorations than the other day when I came here, but let's whip around and show you all the good stuff they have. Now, John Lewis always have um, like different Christmas themes, so you will have one that's like really modern, a really colorful tree, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, but I find that really inspiring, I really like it. So actually this time last year they did actually have a massive quality street um, like pop up here which obviously they're not going to do again because it was like a self selection, like a pick a mix. But let's go into the Christmas shop and here we have all the different Christmas themes that they have. They always have a number. They've done this for quite a few years now which I think is a really really good idea to kind of get inspired. Everyone has different colour themes and different styles so it kind of suits everyone's needs so you've got bloomsbury here and the great thing is 
you can grab like a leaflet and on the back it's got like suggestions of things to buy but actually online obviously you guys will be interested in this from an online perspective um they'll have all of the products which are related to each theme now they sometimes are quite similar each year obviously there's only so many different types of christmas theming that you can come up with but art of japan is definitely a whole new concept and this table setup is so cool so cool i love it but yeah, look at all these gorgeous decorations. I mean, we'll have a look at the actual decorations in a moment, but sometimes I'm like, yeah, how much how much would this tree cost <laughs> with all of these decorations? But I like that they have different colored products. Um, like you've got some gin there, which matches with the red theme. Very nice. And as we head through, this is probably, well, I say probably, I know it is more my vibe. I love the impressionism one. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, obviously they kind of hope you to buy all of your decorations here but I think I would have to remortgage my flat in order to do that <laughs> but yeah good for a bit of inspo and again you can just like grab the leaflet I always wonder like do people really use all these kind of things in table settings that's like proper bougie right we used to have like um what do you call them like table like plate mat things or whatever what do you call those? I don't know what they're called. Um, as kids, we used to always have those for Christmas, but to have kind of triple plates, beautiful centerpieces. Oh, look at him in a glass. People must go all out and how lovely does this look to sit on? So pretty. Now, if you've seen my Instagram, you probably have already seen quite a lot of pictures of this particular tree. The Renaissance is quite similar to one that they had last year, but this is honestly my dream and you can definitely tell that i'm a, a single person because i don't think any man would probably accept me having a tree like this but tough i've already bought tons of the decorations um so this is ideally what i would like obviously it's not gonna actually look like this my tree to look like but inspired by oh it's just stunning then we have post impressionism which i think actually looks better in person than on camera it looks kind of not a great green and the lights are a lot brighter in person along here i do like these kind of fairy lights where they're a string but then they've got kind of quite soft little led lights coming off them i have already had a look at those and they're quite a lot more money than regular ones but yeah very tropical i did a vote on instagram and this got the most hate <laughs> the art novu um maybe am i pronouncing that right um this definitely was the most unpopular one i think it's just a little bit too gold and it does look a little bit cheap i'm really sorry if this is your thing i really like the peacock elements to it i think i would rather have the peacocks and all these kind of like deep rich colors mixed with the post impressionism so it's a bit it's a bit gold for me now i'm obviously in oxford street which i appreciate is probably one of the biggest stores so when shops do open you're probably not necessarily going to find everything here in your local store but they definitely will still have a setup where they have like a tree with decorations so um yeah take a look but i do think online i've already had a look they've done a really good job so check it out now as you can see you've got like a cool bougie tree and then all of the decorations that you want to buy and this is dangerous because i came here the other day i think i mentioned and i spent like 55 60 pounds on decorations and i didn't even really get that many so definitely need to get some like cheaper ones from like bnq or something um but i did get some really really pretty ones but just as an example okay something like this if i can get in focus i think 10 pounds is the most expensive ornament like that and then you've got these where there's like a duo little ice are they skating on oh, no, the ballet dancers for 15 pounds and then different baubles and i think i'm going to get ripped by everyone who is american these are baubles this is what we call them in the uk i remember last vlogmas everyone was saying like what on earth is a bauble hannah um but they tend to be about five to seven pounds and then my favorite the renaissance i probably will get a box of different shaped baubles and um, so i will do my haul once vlogmas starts and show you but hint hint i got a couple i think of these and a few of those and maybe a few other bits as well and i really want to get these these are so beautiful there's so much to pick from oh my gosh and yeah it's actually not that busy in here um it's definitely really busy on oxford street when i was walking along here but cue the christmasy music for a bit of a montage for a few minutes and enjoy the festivities.
and they always have a very very London inspired tree which is a bit of a shame because usually the tourists will you know go mad for these and places like Harrods will also have um, like kind of Christmas landmarks so you've got Big Ben and the uh, London Eye kind of a weird version of it and also a red bus you've got some different road signs they're quite big so you're gonna need a big tree but they are definitely a statement bauble of some form then I thought I'd show you on the tree there's lots of like royal inspired ones lots of red telephone boxes um, a nice PC plod there if that's your thing but yeah they're so fun but there's just there's so many versions and so many styles but it just will cost a few pennies but it's definitely tempting to get some more maybe I will get a couple more I did actually look at the stockings in Primark and they were like seven to nine pounds but these are much much bigger um, they are 25 pounds some of them are 18 but there's definitely a little difference in the quality let's be honest but I like in these little bags these stocking bags for kids now we are going in to the actual christmas tree section which is why i came here i need to find a tree that isn't pre-lit because i had a pre-lit one last year and i didn't like it because it had cool lights and i didn't realize i like warm lights uh this is huge i live in a small flat hmm i want one that looks good not too fake a lot of people are going to be like why are you not having a real tree hannah I don't know, I think I've, I've had a fake tree for so long now, like even at home. Um, we used to have two, so a fake one and a real one. But I don't know the convenience of having a fake one and they last longer, obviously. I'm not sure, let's see what they've got. Five foot is so small, like I'm five foot five, but like, that's just lame, I don't want that one. Okay, six foot seems like quite a nice height. I don't know where I'd put it, I need to move some bits around in my flat. They got some more over here. Let's go in the main entrance. So I don't, are these pre-lit? Mm, Foxtail Pine. I don't know, he's quite nice, isn't he? I tend to like the ones with fake snow on already, but the one that I had from M&S, no offense to the person that bought it off me off eBay, just looked a bit fake, it looked a bit shit, guys. Some of the fake snow, understandably, can be like polystyrene. I don't know what it is. They obviously spray it with something. I'll show you some in a minute. But it just kept coming off everywhere. It literally drove me crazy. And then other times they're sprayed. Like I'm gonna touch it. Like that's not even slightly coming off. Um, uh, it's 260 pounds. Uh, no, 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 no. It's too much. Literally 20 minutes later, I have picked my favourite tree, and then I double checked the price and it's 280 pounds. I really don't want to pay 280 pounds for a six foot tree. So I've got two that I like, let me show you. Now it's actually relatively decent price. It's 129 for a seven foot, but I just need a six foot. I've looked online, it's only 99 pounds. It's called Fireside. Um, I don't know, I'm not crazy about like the manufacturing where it's got like the brown in it, but does that make it look more like a proper tree? It's definitely a fluffy tree, whereas the tree I was trying to imitate was more like this one, which is my second choice. So the Peruvian pine is a lot more money uh, at 229 to 7 foot, and I've just looked online and it's 199 for the six foot. I just need a six foot one. I mean, I don't even know what size the box is gonna be or where it's gonna go in my flat, but I'll have to find a home for it. Um, but yeah, so this just looks a lot more authentic. I don't know, I really like it, but there's quite a big price difference between the two. As I mentioned, there are tons of trees. Some of them are glittery, quite a lot of them are pre-lit, but um, they have actually got quite good fake snow ones. Let me show you. Very winter wonderland, but I think I'm just not someone who likes Oh dear, see, like little bits come off, and I know you're not really meant to decorate those. I mean, to be fair, that's quite a cute little um, out, like bush thing, but I want a tree that I can put decorations on. I can imagine some of these look stunning, properly decorated, rather than my terrible attempts. Yeah, so some of them are extremely expensive, some of them are very reasonably priced. I mean, that one there that's got all the um, the lights programmed, it's 850, which I think is a bit steep, but the one that I really liked is the Belgravia, but yeah, it's just, I think it's too much money. Um, it's really nice, it definitely looks a lot more authentic to like what I want to achieve anyway, but I'll have a think about it. I've just queued 20 minutes to pay, which was slightly painful, I'm not going to lie, um, but let me show you some of the um, Christmas food, and they obviously have a lot of advent which is on offer as well, but I've already got a couple of advent calendars, which I'll show you in another video, but let me show you some of the treats. They've got loads of yummy things, they tend to be the same each year, but lots of 
yummy gingerbread items, cookie mix. I actually do already have a gingerbread house which I got from M&S Food quite some time ago. Oh, look at these. Chocolate buzz, Bucks Fizz candles. Oh my God, you can tell I'm tired. I couldn't get my words out. Proper quality street tins, which I'm sure you can get in supermarkets. And no doubt they have lots of premium chocolates as well. Uh, panettone, if that's how you pronounce it. Absolutely love yum yum oh i'm actually starving it's dinner time i probably shouldn't be in here anymore maybe i'll go downstairs to waitrose and get myself some sushi or something but oh that's a nice little gift thing isn't it how much is that 85 pounds that's a really nice present but yeah so they've got like advent calendars was 65 now 45 lots of beer lots of alcohol gifts which are always a fan of mine I'm not going to complain if anyone ever buys me a drink. And then we've got some more panettone over here. I do love little, oh, look at these. Hazel praline fillings. Is it praline or praline? I don't know how you can answer that in the comments. But yeah, we've got loads of little chocolate treats. I'm sure there'll be loads and loads around Christmas time. But yeah, by the time you're seeing this, it basically will be Christmas. But I do love, these are good for like stocking fillers little chocolate lollies let me show you this a bit closer i think i probably showed these last year but 20 pounds for a little pre-made one is quite fun and then they've got the 12 pound one i think that's the one that i bought last year but yeah like i said i've already got one from mns which i got a little while ago but with that said i think it's time for me to go uh let's head out Wow, the 3rd of November. It is pretty busy now. It's like well after work and everyone is shopping. But let me show you the outside windows. Well, saying that, there aren't really many Christmassy windows at all. I'm gonna quickly do another video now showing the lights. Oh, should we smile on TV? But yeah, John Lewis, another 100 pounds spent. But look at the lights outside. Doesn't it look so cool? Really great to see all the lights are up and ready to go for when life gets maybe a little bit more normal in to December. I've literally just been stood there with my mask on. I don't need to wear it, but look at these lights. Don't they look so good with the big bus going past? There we go. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Ooh, mind the bus behind me. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know this probably seems a bit frustrating. Oh, there's been bus in the way. Very busy, there's another one coming. Um, but yeah, this is the 3rd of November, as I've said like five times already. Um, but hopefully it gets you in the Christmas spirit. It was crazy busy, so I hope you are already doing some browsing online for your Christmas tree or generally on your shopping. I think this year me and my family, like we're just not really gonna do presents, but just for my nieces instead. Um, but yeah, I've got myself some more decorations, which I'll show you in another video. And I will see you next time. Bye.